everyone you're welcome to solve this nice algebra problem which is 2 to the power of x minus 2 to the power of minus x this is equal to 4 so what is the value of x given that x is not equal to 0 so let's provide a solution from here now 2 to the power of minus x this is in the form of a to the power of minus n which we can express as 1 over a to the power of n. Applying this property, then we have 2 to the power of x minus 1 over 2 to the power of x. This is equal to 4. The next step is that 4 is a whole number, so this is over 1. 2 to the power of x, this is a whole number, so this is over 1. Now, the LCM here is 2 to the power of x. Let's multiply everything by 2 to the power of x, here 2 to the power of x, as well as here 2 to the power of x. So here we have 2 to the power of x times 2 to the power of x, subtract 2 to the power of x simplifies here, so subtract 1. This is equal to 4 times 2 to the power of x. Now, 2 to the power of x x times 2 to the power of x, this is 2 to the power of x raised to the power of 2, subtract 1, this is equal to 4 times 2 to the power of x. The next step from here, we can let 2 to the power of x be equal to u. Let's substitute u so that we have u squared minus 1, this is equal to 4 u. So let's take for u on the left hand side so that now we have u squared minus 4u subtract 1. This is equal to 0. Now this is the quadratic equation of the form a u squared plus bu plus c. This is equal to 0. From this quadratic equation here, a is equal to 1, b is equal to minus 4 and that c is equal to minus 1. So we can solve for u1, comma u2, by applying the quadratic formula, that's minus b, plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, everything here, divided by 2 times a. Now substituting the values of a, b, and c, here we have minus, minus 4, plus or minus, we have the square root of minus 4 raised to the power of 2, subtract 4, multiplying by a, which is 1, times c, which is minus 1, everything here, divided by 2 times 1. So that now, here we have minus times minus 4, this is 4, then plus or minus the square root of minus 4 squared, this is equal to 16, then minus 4 times minus 1, this is plus 4, divided by 2. So that now, here we have 4 plus or minus, we have the square root of 16 plus 4, this is equal to 20, then everything here, divided by 2. So now here we have 4 plus or minus, we can express the square root of 20, this is the same thing as 4 times 5 divided by 2. So that now here we have 4 plus or minus the square root of 4, this is 2, then square root of 5, everything here divided by 2. Then we note that in the numerator here, 2 is common, we can factor out 2 so that we have 2 plus or minus square root of 5, everything here divided by 2. So now let's simplify 2 and 2 here so that now we have that u1 comma u2 this is equal to 2 plus or minus square root of 5. So now we have that u1 is equal to 2 plus square root of 5 and we have that u2 is equal to 2 minus square root of 5. Now if you recall, if you recall, we have seen that red 
2 to the power of x b equal to u. So let's substitute u with 2 to the power of x. So we have 2 to the power of x. This is equal to u1, which is 2 plus square root of 5. And on the other side here, we have 2 to the power of x. This is equal to 2 subtract square root of 5. So now, if you check this side here, 2 to the power of x, this is supposed to give us a positive value, which is equal to 2 plus square root of 5, which is also a positive value. So this means that we can proceed to solve for the value of x on this side. On the other side here, 2 to the power of x will give us a positive value. But now 2 minus square root of 5, this will give us a negative value. And this implies that from here, this side is rejected. Because we cannot solve for the value of x, we will have undefined result. Undefined result. And hence, the second part here is rejected. So let's proceed. We have 2 to the power of x. This is equal to 2 plus square root of 5. To solve for x here, we introduce logarithm on both sides so that you have log 2 to the power of x. This is equal to log 2 plus square root of 5. Now, the next step is that log 2 to the power of x. This is in the form of log a to the power of n which we can express as n log a. Now, applying this power root property of logarithm, log 2 to the power of x becomes x log 2. This is equal to log, this is 2 plus square root of 5. Let's divide both signs by log 2, here by log 2. So that now we simplify here so that x is equal to log this is 2 plus square root of 5 divided by log 2. Now you find that log 2 plus square root of 5 over log 2 this is in the form of log a divided by log b which we can express as log a to base b. So let's apply this logarithm property from here so that now the value of x here is equal to log 2 plus square root of 5 to base 2. So this is the value of x. This is the value of x. The next step from here is to verify if this value of x satisfies the equation. Now let's verify that the value of x, which is log 2 plus square root of 5 to base 2, satisfies the equation. Now, if you recall, we end that 2 to the power of x minus 2 to the power of minus x. This is equal to 4. Remember 2 to the power of minus x. This is in the form of a to the power of minus n, which is the same thing as 1 over a to the power of n. Now, applying this property, we have 2 to the power of x minus 1 over 2 to the power of x. This is equal to 4. Now, let's substitute the value of x so that we have 2 to the power of rog 2 plus square root of 5 to base 2. Subtract 1 over 2 to the power of, we have rog. 2 plus square root of 5 to base 2. This is equal to 4. Now, we have that 2 to the power of rog 2 plus square root of 5 to base 2. This is in the form of a to the power of rog b to base a, which essentially is equal to b. So this implies that 2 to the power of rog 2 plus square root of 5 to base 2, this is the same thing as 2 plus square root of 5. So now let's substitute 2 plus square root of 5, so that now here we have 2 plus square root of 5 minus 1 over 2 plus square root of 5, this is equal to 4. Now, 
2 plus square root of 5, this is our number, so this is over 1. And that means that here we have the LCM as 2 plus square root of 5. So we have 2 plus square root of 5 divided by 1, which is 2 plus square root of 5 times 2 plus square root of 5. This means we have in the numerator 2 plus square root of 5 to the power of 2 minus 2 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 plus square root of 5. That is 1. 1 times 1, this is 1. Then this is equal to 4. So let's multiply both signs by 2 plus square root of 5. And also here we have 2 plus square root of 5. So this and this simplifies. So that now, here we have 2 plus square root of 5 to the power of 2 minus 1. This is equal to 4 times 2. This is equal to 8. Then plus 4 times square root of 5. So this is 4 square root of 5. So let's expand this so that we have 2 squared. This is 4. Then plus we have square root of 5 to the power of 2. Then plus we have here, we have 4 square root of 5. Then subtract 1. This is equal to 8 plus 4 square root of 5. Now the first thing to note here, we have 4 square root of 5 here and 4 square root of 5 here. So definitely we can simplify this. And therefore here we have 4 plus, now here we eliminate the square root sign here. So plus 5 minus 1. This is equal to 8. So let's check from here. 4 plus 5, this is 9, minus 1. This is supposed to be equal to 8. So it's clear that here, 9 minus 1, this is equal to 8, and this is equal to 8. So this implies that the left add side is equal to the right add side. And this clearly shows that the value of x here, which essentially is equal to log 2, plus square root of 5 to base 2 satisfies the equation. So kindly follow the steps, like this video, and kindly subscribe. Please like this video, and kindly subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye bye for now.